today, a Nebraska Woodster, first delivery of the year. Let's do it. Hey Woodsters, my name is Mike. Well, it's that time of year again. The orders are starting to come in and it is time to hit the road this morning. Get in this truck. <clears throat> We are going to head on down the road. We are about uh, 20 miles from this delivery. Actually, it's a town that I work in. I was going to do it on the way to work, but it hasn't uh, come together and starting to get a couple of these that are piling up. So we are uh, going to head down the road and we'll see. Never met this homeowner. This is a new customer for me, so I'm not sure what they're going to feel uh, and think about uh, being on camera. So uh, I can't. Jesus, my road's a disaster we can get them uh, if they allow us to do some filming we'll do that so anyway all on down the road we go here we go like the stand is full yet this morning so should be good there it's starting to cool off now so we're getting some back backyard burning going on so that's always good here before we get uh, rolled right into uh, late fall early winter so anyway let's get on with this delivery and see if we can bring it to you all right here we go Anybody want to guess where I'm getting my IBC totes? But we're going to swing through here. This is uh, one of the locations I work at, and uh, I'm just curious how much that load of wood weighs. So we're going to weigh her up. All right, let's see. I don't know if you can see that, but 6760. So we'll weigh after we get unloaded. All right. Well, we are back just didn't get that one on film but we are back on top of the scale so can't even remember what it was before but now 55.80 so we'll have to look back and see what, uh, what that was so
are back at the wood yard. So it was just a little bit of where uh, one of the locations that I work at. And uh, also, um, here's the weight below, which, you know, when you're weighing firewood, that really doesn't mean crap. At the other day, if you're weighing water or not weighing water, I was just curious if nothing else. So would never sell it by the weight. Um, anybody that's making money selling firewood by the weight is selling wet wood. So um, not a good deal, just more curious than anything. But we are, flip you around. We are up here in the wood yard and we are going to spend a little bit of time here just kind of rolling some of these bigger ones and some of this back up towards the splitter. Today's supposed to get up to about 85. Should be uh, miserable back here with no shade. But tomorrow we've got uh, a high of 63 in clouds. So uh, I'm going to try and get uh, some help up here tomorrow and uh, start working on that bin up there and getting that thing filled up. So. Anyway, let's get this tractor over here and uh, start uh, moving stuff to the conveyor. Well, we're still on 25 pound restrictions and those guys are well over 25. So you gotta be careful and make sure you're using, you know, just rolling them and being good. But I was just thinking here, we're probably down to two weeks. I haven't looked back on the calendar, but I think it's two more weeks and I can do whatever the hell I want. So we'll see. We'll just take it easy here.
sun bright. Kind of get the program here. We're just going to keep dumping right in here uh, with the tractor in the bucket. Now, I was just thinking that back corner might be a little bit difficult to get uh, that all filled up, so we'll have to do some hand throwing. But anyway, we're just going to build there, keep everything up off the ground. This stuff here, I would imagine, will be burnt in the winter of the end of 25, 26 winter, or maybe even the beginning of 27. Is kind of what it feels like. We got a pretty good size uh, charge right here. A lot of it depends on just how much of this goes out for sale. I've got a couple of boiler wood customers at this point, um, but that should uh, that pile there is good enough size to, to satisfy all my needs for 24, 25 burning season, and a few customers that come in for some boiler wood. But we'll come back. We'll keep working from here over to the oversized firewood pile and then we will keep filling in starting right right there and start working our pile back again so all right let's keep shuffling to the splitter warming up nicely you can see for the next session here we've got some rounds in front of the uh, conveyor in the wolf ridge that is all maple 100% maple so it'll be good and dry by the time we get to it a couple things maybe you haven't noticed since uh, you were here last I am now down to working on the last two rows right here so we're getting uh, dangerously close to having to flip around and start at the end of the piles over there. So um, be kind of nice to get all this. Uh, I was a little nervous about it being dry enough, but went back and we're just over a year of 
uh, drying on that. And a lot of that was that nasty red elm and she's good and dry. So anyway, we're gonna get this, uh, everything set up here. And then the next time you see me, we're probably gonna be doing some split, splitting. And I'm sure hoping that you got, I have some help while we're doing it, but we will see as well. Anyway, appreciate you coming along with me today. Got ourselves a delivery done. We got some uh, wood moved off of this pile over here. That way we can get that Husqvarna out, under 25 pound saw out again, and uh, start working on the next pile, as well as getting things squared away for the Wolf Ridge and the next cutting session uh, here behind me. So thanks for coming along with me today. You guys know the program. Like, subscribe, and share. We will see you on the flip side.